Okay, I'm back again with a quick unboxing and demo. This time on the Letterman Juice CS4. I was actually sent this unit for review from Letterman Tools, so first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and thank them for doing that. I couldn't do these reviews without the help from the companies. Uh, so again, I really do appreciate it. So the CS4, uh, the Juice line is going to be sort of their midway product in both price and size. Uh, there's one below it uh, called the Squirt line. You can get a bunch of different configurations there as well as in the uh, juice line and then of course they have their uh, full-size multi-tools which a lot of people uh, both professionals as well as regular Joes like myself uh, have come to love so this is the CS4 and Glacier Blue just gonna unbox it give you a few specs as well as uh, let you guys know when you guys can uh, check out the full review on it because uh, this of course is my unboxing and demo channel. Uh, so this is the Juice CS4 in Glacier Blue. Uh, comes very simply with just the main unit itself and the owner's manual. Uh, this is in a true unboxing. I've had this unit for about a week and have used it a little bit. You know, I used it. Uh, we've had a couple of storms roll through. A lot of branches have fallen and this has a saw included on it. So I used the saw and it actually worked out quite well. Uh, you just have the uh, owner's manual and the unit itself. Uh, the owner's manual is going to give you a product guide with some of the other juice as well as some of the uh, squirt models. Um, the squirt is a model below this one. Uh, costs a little bit less and of course uh, I think they have some of their their full size models in there as well. But uh, the juice is pretty small even though it's the mid-size model has a length of three and a quarter inches and you can see it compared to my index finger it is not that large at all uh, has a weight of about five and a half ounces and it's made out of two different metals uh, everything on the inside is going to be stainless steel and everywhere you see uh, this blue coating is going to be anodized aluminum so uh, pretty nice little design they have going on there so opening it up you will see the typical needle nose pliers. You have some other pliers here, as well as wire cutters. This can cut a uh, pretty tough wire. Uh, folding it, well actually before I fold it back up, let me show you the outside functions. Uh, you have a medium sized flathead. You have a, whoops, gloves getting snagged there. A small size flathead as well as a full size. A little difficult to pull out the uh, screwdrivers just because this is such a small unit. I uh, tried this without the gloves and again it was still pretty difficult. Uh, on the other side you just have a medium sized Phillips head. You don't get the multiple sizes of course because it takes up more space. So uh, folding this back in has a very secure uh, locking going on as you can see and uh, I'll show you the inside functions we have this uh, pretty nice knife is nice and sharp uh, which a lot of multi tools I've gotten in the past have uh, been a lot of you know pretty much dull I would have to sharpen them and then they wouldn't stay sharp uh, this is razor sharp right out of the package as you guys can see just cuts through the paper like hot butter uh, has a really nice edge to it as you guys can see uh, they really took the time to uh, properly sharpen this before sending it out, which I like. On the uh, reverse side, we have an awl, so you can, uh, you know, dig into a piece of wood, and make a pallet hole, and also it has a place where you can thread a string through uh, to do a little bit of rough patching work. Uh, right here, below the awl is. The saw I used is act, it's actually a pretty nice saw. So you can see it has a pretty aggressive uh, teeth pattern or tooth pattern. I'm sorry. Uh, look at it. Grab the glove, and it's still as sharp as it was when I first got it after going through about three or four branches. So uh, pretty well made. It was oiled uh, before I got it, and it still has a little bit of oil on it. I'm going to go ahead and recoat it. Uh, I'm not too sure what they use, but it did smell like WD-40. Uh, there was a little faint odor of that when using the saw. On the other side, we have a bottle opener as well as a corkscrew. So, if you guys are uh, 
at the beach or something or you're in the garage that will definitely come in handy and the last item we have is going to be a pair of scissors and again this is another well-made item it's not just a novelty uh, like it is on a lot of other multi tools that actually does cut uh, with no problem and the failure with other multi tools is that there's a little bit too much play uh, in the side to side motion which would just sort of allow the paper to slip through the middle and not actually cut uh, but this actually has a pretty uh, nice little rivet going straight to the middle it's nice and secure uh, with not that much play it's also spring activated so it springs back uh, when you finish cutting so pretty nice multi-tool I will test this probably over the next couple of weeks uh, just to make sure I get an idea of how well the coating holds up and um, I'll let you guys know then so uh, to see updates on this multi-tool as well as a bunch of different other items uh, go ahead and subscribe to my main page and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe here also uh, because it really does help me out so thanks again for watching I'll see you guys later peace